Hi, this is David. I'm the Audi technologist at Kendall Audi in Bend, Oregon. And today I just wanted to show you some customization of your virtual cockpit and the multimedia interface. So let's begin. We want to go into settings. You want to go into display and brightness. Then you want to go to virtual cockpit to change the layout of what's in front of the driver on the driver's screen. Starts out in classic, round dials, if we go to dynamic and say yes, change now, we get a more graph-like look to our speedometer and odometer, I mean uh, speedometer and tachometer, and just the layout in general is a little more of a bar graph, a little more sport looking, Formula One look. So sport display shows a little more red where the red line is, changes the coloring just a little bit, but not a drastic change. To so to make the MMI a little bit more user friendly, to not have to press the screen so hard to select buttons. Go into settings, go into display and brightness, and go to MMI. Touch screen feedback is where you customize how hard you have to touch the screen and whether there's that click sound for feedback. Right now, being on high and with that click, I have to press the screen fairly, not hard, but I have to press in a little bit. If you want it to be more like tapping the screen without pressing so hard, just like your phone would be, we will turn touch screen, uh, touch input off, the feedback off, and then we basically can just touch and not have to press so hard, and you don't hear the clicks like we did when that was on, and I have to actually depress in a little firmer. So I think the preference for most is to turn that off, and you just get to lightly touch the screen to go into menus. Well, thanks for watching my video today. If you have any more questions or want to learn more about your Audi, you can come see David, the Audi technologist down here at Audi of Bend, Oregon. Kendall, let's start something great.